here, let's take a quick walkthrough of the software. Here we are inside the creator. You'll notice a welcome screen here, and you'll notice your logo templates here on the left. The software contains 50 business card templates that you can modify a thousand ways, logo templates, and the people pack. The people pack comes with a whole bunch of marketing graphics that you can use to market your website, your blogs, your business, your forum, whatever. Let's, let's pick this one. It pops up, you can resize the canvas, drag things around, make images bigger, just like a regular graphics program. Change the color of text, add outlines, change the font. People Pack comes with a whole bunch of other people images. So let's say we don't want this image, I'm gonna hit delete on my keyboard, but we do wanna spice it up with some images. So up here in this panel, you'll see a whole bunch of graphics. So all you have to do to use them is to select one of the categories, like spheres, for example. Find something you like, bring it down, and you can format the size, whatever you want to do. Or we can find the people images by looking at the people pack elements, and you'll find silhouettes. You'll see a lot of people images. Just bring any of them onto the canvas by dragging them down and changing them very easily. Resize them. And we can make this our new foot club. Or whatever you want. But let's hit undo for that and remove her. And we're going to go back to people pack elements and we're going to find silhouettes. Cool. Nice logo. And let's change the background color if we want to. Make it black, make it red. For now, I think I'm going to leave it white. And we can give this image a drop shadow. There, we've just totally changed the template and made a custom graphic out of it. Okay, let's take a quick look at the business card set. Go back to select a template. Let's go find the business cards. Now, I use the business card set for my own business cards, and they came out really cool. So when you select a business card template, let's just do any random one. This one's good. You're going to notice a red border around the cards. To remove the border, you just go to Format Canvas and click on this card guide, and it takes it away. It's just a guide um, for when they cut the cards. It's a bleed image. I'll show you that in one minute. So for now, let's remove it. And we're going to change the text from Art Garfunkel to something like uh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> okay. And as with every other template, we can change the size, the font, the color, like that. And our telephone number here, edit to 555-1212. Now, this area here, we need an image. So this brings us to the character set that I had mentioned earlier. The fourth thing that you get when you purchase the, the creator. So we'll go down here to Cartoon Creator, and you'll notice a whole bunch of folders. In these folders, there are images of cartoon images that you can bring onto the canvas, or we have images with no face, and to put a face on it, we find other elements like a mouth, and it doesn't fit, so let's shrink it down a tad so it does fit, and we'll go find some cool eyes, and if that doesn't quite work for you, find some other eyes. And we'll change this mouth, your own mascot character. You don't like this body, delete it, find a superhero body, perhaps. The character creator has a whole bunch of other things. It's got speech bubbles, monster bodies, girl faces, girl figures, bodies with no heads, and heads with no bodies. Mix and match everything to make all kinds of custom mascots for your cards, for your website, for your blogs, just to brand your business. So for the business card example, we don't really need a character, we need our own image, which is easy to do. 
up here under the file menu, we want to import our own graphic. So you find the image you want, bring it onto the canvas, and now Brad Pitt's picture is there. <laughs> and now I'm going to print it. Up here under options, format canvas, you're going to see a print button. Let's make sure that our graphics and all our text is, is centered okay. And they all fit into the red border, great. So I'm going to hit the print options. And now it's asking me to export my, my graphic as a JPEG. So I'll do that. Once I do, it pops me to a brand new web page that's on vistaprint.com. I can upload my graphic. So I go to my computer, I click it, I choose my image. And now you'll notice that that red border that we saw is exactly right here what Vistaprint and other card companies want you to use. There are other card companies you can use. You don't have to use Vistaprint. I happen to like it because they do a great job and you can preview the image, which is really nice. And it's also pretty doggone inexpensive. Look at this, 100 cards will be shipped to your door in about two days for about $8. 500 cards for $10. And not just cards, but you can make pens with your graphic, uh, sticky notes, car magnets. Oh, look at this, mouse pads. That's actually really cool. Nine bucks for a mouse pad uh, that's branded with your picture and everything else. Uh, banners, lots of cool stuff. Coffee mugs, notepads, t-shirts, and even hats if you wanted it. Now watch this. Let's choose this template. So, what if we make this a little bit easier to see by making it bigger and bolder? Now, we have more of a page header banner looking thing. So let's say I want to change this texture. What if I went to Google Images and I typed in glossy background, okay? And I find a cool image that I like. I don't know, like this one, for example. And I'm going to save it to my desktop, back to the logo creator, and now I'm going to drag this image from my desktop onto the text. And now it's pretty dark and pretty cool looking. Now it gives it a whole new feel. Oh, let's change the font too. A cooler font maybe. You might want to use this for a YouTube channel or a page header and you can make banners out of it by simply making the canvas long. And when you're done, all you have to do is go up here to the file and we hit export as a JPEG, export as a PNG, or if we don't want the background, we export this whole thing as a transparent PNG image, which means that when we put it on our website, the background will be transparent and it'll look really cool. So there you go, there's the creator. We have logo templates, business card templates, people pack elements, and a whole bunch of characters you can use to create your own avatars, mascot characters, anything else you might want to use a character for.